Hi guys, welcome to another video related to Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 and in this video we are going to review the Albatrova Speedster UI uh, Speedster Google Dream UI so uh, and here the main thing is the battery performance is good and uh, all those Samsung apps are removed and now we get Google apps but this is the most uh, like stock Google app uh, apps and very well uh, preserved uh, the battery preservation is good the RAM performance is good so let's start with the installation and review so first of all power of your device Now we are able to recover using these three buttons, the volume up, the home button and the power button. Ok, so we are in the team win recovery, just go to backup first. So if you are coming from other ROM, you can backup your old data if you want to switch again with the old ROM. So select storage is micro SD or internal and swipe to backup yes uh, remember to tick everything and now just go to wipe here and you have to wipe this uh, not the internal storage the Dalvik cage data and system ok it's done go back install and here are three files This is the version 2 add more zips settings fix add more zips the blurred ui if you want a blurred ui then only you can fix that zip uh, flash that zip or else you can go with the normal ui for a good performance reboot after uh, installation is complete now this is the aroma installer backup efs Let's wait till the Aroma installer finishes the installation. And installation is quite easy because there was uh, no options like hard options or more. There were no more options, uh, so that will be a good installation, an easy one. Now it's flashing the kernel. Okay, done. So the installation is completed. Yeah. Let's focus. Yes. And now we just go to next. And here, don't reboot device. So let's click next. And the add ons will be installed. Settings fix and the build system UI. J7 logo normal and pixel black boot animation that we got in the first version so the same boot animation so the boot logo is not changed I thought the Google boot logo will be there so let's see 
what is in the ROM and what RAM it performs and also I will give the Android score of it. The device is booted up and I will skip the server which I didn't set it up uh, for some time. And now you can see we get the pixel launcher but not the normal pixel launcher and the pixel launcher oh the latest pixel launcher with the back port for all devices and we get here Google now and I don't think we get the assistant okay we need to set assistant for that and we get here new uh, uh, what we say here uh, long press uh, actions this is also called as uh, I don't know what it's called it's an iPhone it is called as a touch 3 touch and you get it for some apps here you can see you can get app info when you can click here on the messaging tab you can app add widgets if add a con if you want to add a contact you can add it directly for set up your gmail account and all now we have this plenty of apps and it's fully debloated and i updated the dialer app and i have installed google app and one more one thing i have also uh, updated so you get google camera here and it is fully working so no issues in the front side also it is working with flash so no doubt good and now saying overall performance is great we get here grace ux and here dream ui which is the nougat ui settings going to about device rom info albatroas and it's a5 2017 so it is based on a5 2017 rom we can go here device maintenance it is ram let's go to ram and let's clear everything VOLT is also there but my Geo SIM card is in my uh, J716 so I cannot put it here right now 528MB free that is good with all those Samsung apps removed and those bloatware removed we get uh, here the radio app is there still and we get gallery app from Samsung also the music app is very good so here yeah, the developer has kept it also the calendar app is updated and all these apps are updated working fine we get the pixel launcher O2 this is really smooth google wallpaper is also updated so it will look more cool and really fabulous you get here calls and first to receive calls just go to settings ok these things uh, people always ask after installing the rom you don't see the whole video default applications and here set calling app as phone ok then you will receive calls you can get the call screen and we have mx player so you need to install a codec we have the root explorer installed to have some modding and editing we get uh, contacts google contacts app google messages the google blog google calendar and everything the samsung gallery we get from samsung here's the music player and radio that's it so uh, you cannot install any third party radio app that will work also so and you need to update a google play services too to get work on so it's grace ux so that will be very fast and here are some toggles you need to hide because they won't work I think smart views need to be tested I don't know but as it not the Samsung ROM you can be sure there is no app size so forward it and uh, yeah no app size about device we have this information my lock screen started uh, my screen started flickering okay so I will just increase some brightness So now I have never done a uh, introduce code on this ROM or any or uh, stock related ROM. So let's do it now. So here is the introduce code I got and I tested it for uh, two three times. I got this only and uh, yeah, I will also test it with custom kernels and will give you the score because this video will go uh, long and long. So I just wanted to end it here and so the conclusion. For this video is if you want to use this as your daily uses you can use this uh, this ROM as no lag viz that is touch viz is not there so you can use this uh, okay touch viz is there but uh, you don't get the touch viz launcher laggy launcher you get a google uh, now a google launcher which is a pixel launcher the latest launcher by google 
so you won't be uh, like uh, you won't be uh, uh, depressed by seeing that uh, lagness and you can game well the performance is great you get good 3d performance 4506 ux 16145 cpu 14873 ram so good amount of mp ram will be saved if you use while you use this while gaming it's not good and not bad too so this was the review of this ROM and the Android score so I've explained if you want to use this you can use gaming performance will be good so goodbye guys and uh, please don't uh, dislike the video like the video okay yeah if you like this video press the like button if you don't press the dislike button and subscribe for more videos and also press the bell icon if you want instant updates of my videos okay I know I know I had a three day gap for my video but it's okay uh, so bye bye i am going to catch up in your next video